All right, beautiful people, we have another interesting map today. This is, I don't know what it's called, One Shot War Factory. And I thought I'd show this because it is actually quite a good map to uh, test out uh, or to practice your one-shotting skills if Tiberian Sun loads. Um, yeah, and I think it's all about numbering your units and, um, well, I'll explain what, it, what the map is first. So you start off with this base that you need to attack. Um, your opponent, you don't need to set up an AI or a computer. Uh, if you do, you'll actually end up with an MCV that tries to attack you, which is not what you want. So just no computer, no AI, and you've got to destroy this war factory. That engineer is going to try and save that war factory. Once it's below about 50% health, it will uh, run in. I suppose you need to use this bomber to keep that engineer away, but you don't have enough time to actually destroy the um, war factory because there's just too many units there for, um, for you to deal with. So, as you can see, that was the uh, issue. So, I think um, it's actually about, you know, having two or three different attempts at the same time. Oh, I should say sequentially. And uh, destroying a bomber straight afterwards, because otherwise it's going to sit on the ground unloaded. And eventually you just end up, I guess, uh, wearing down the AI to the point that... Um, uh, oops. Or maybe just can't produce the uh, engineer fast enough. Ooh, almost got it. So it's all about speed, which is, you know, a big part of Tiberian Sun. Well, he's not going into the uh, war factory yet. There we go. Okay, so it took me a bit longer last time. Um, but yeah, it's not just a one once one shot uh, attack. You need to do it um, repeatedly and just continually take out that engineer. So it actually is quite a good exercise for... Um, your muscle memory and for numbering um, and even practicing one shots. Now, I think if you want to do it even more um, complex, you would change the sides that you're attacking from um, and not just repeat the same sort of angles that I was doing. The only issue is that you do have a um, another RPG that will get involved and that makes it near impossible, I think. Now, the other thing I learned by doing this uh, practice is that the angle at which the disruptor comes in at affects the speed in which it can attack because it turns its little radar around and that actually is enough time to um, completely miss getting an attack um, at all. And I'll show you what I mean by that if I go down to this end. And that's probably going to activate that RPG, but... Yes, it didn't even get a chance to... And there I've got a bomber that's fucking useless. So try to use that. Mm, okay, oh, he ran into the factory. So try to use that bomber straight away. Um, okay, so see the uh, disruptors coming in this way. As soon as it lands, it's got to turn that thing around. Oh, actually, almost um, almost managed to get the building. Maybe that's not such a bad spot. Now, the other thing you can do, I think, is to try to sit in front of that RPG so it doesn't activate. Bloody useless. Oh, man. So it's kind of fun, like, you know, you can get it down and see how many... See how close you can get to uh, destroying this building by either killing the engineer or... Um, oh, they're still alive. Let's see if I can... Um, strangely, the engineer hasn't gone in. There we go. Dead engineer. Got it. Okay. Yeah, so when it doesn't activate the engineer, um, or if the engineer is late, uh, that's kind of because you're wearing... In sort of talking marks you're wearing down the AI but um, really good thing to practice um, and also practice as I said doing those different angles I kind of defaulted to the normal angles that I do but you can do it uh, long ways or um, short ways so um, yeah pretty pretty fun little map um, hope you guys enjoy that you can download it from the discord servers there's a discord server that has um, all the maps on it that Holland has and uh, that's where I got this map from and just installed it onto my computer. Um, yeah, and keep your eyes out for uh, future playlist episodes from, uh, I think it's the co-op channel. There's like a, sorry, there's a playlist both for Steelcock, which is uh, my tag on Tiberian Sun, and also um, another one that's uh, like interesting uh, AI co-op maps that you can um, uh, watch some of those videos. And I'm trying to put together a list of interesting maps. But that's it from me, guys. I'll see you next time.